Hey, good morning, all my friends and my family, uh, especially those of you who are uh, connected to us at the refuge. We bless you on this Monday morning, it's Pastor Larry, and we're starting a brand new week of our video devotions. And man, I hope these are blessing you. I hope you'll share them. Um, I don't claim to be the most deep uh, theologian <laughs> uh, on, on the planet. Um, in fact, I don't claim to be a the theologian necessarily at all. I just, uh, I love the Lord. I love his people. I love what God's doing in the earth, um, right now. And I'm thrilled to be a part of it. And I want to share uh, good news and I want to share encouragement in a world that in my opinion, <clears throat> desperately needs that, um, right now. And so I hope that these are blessing you and, and I hope that, uh, if they are, that you'll, you'll like it, um, let us know that you're watching and then do me a favor, share it with somebody um, <clears throat> and let some other people be encouraged um, as they walk through this world. Um, so that's what I want to say to start off with today, Monday, March the 15th. And um, let me just, let me dive into this real quick today and I'll try not to be uh, really long on a Monday, but just reading through uh, the Bible. I've been using a version for my devotion plans here lately. It's called the easy to read version. Um, and I like to read different versions just because it gives a different perspective. And I know that some are more accurate. I, I get all that. I'm not into that argument. Um, I, I know what I believe. I know in whom I believed. And uh, I, I'm not going to get into those arguments about translations or versions. But I do like to read different ones just because they bring different perspective. But um, this easy to read version, I was reading in the book of Philippians, chapter number four. It's a real familiar chapter. We've done a lot of devotions from, um, from Philippians four. But um, the, the title, you know how a chapter will have a title. And Paul's getting ready to, or he's writing to the, the church at, at Philippi that he established and, the, and the, the title of chapter four in the easy to read version, it gives it a title and it says, how Christians should live. That's the title of chapter four. This is how Christians should live. And you start reading it and there's a few things that stand out to me because if you profess to be a Christian, and this is who Paul was writing to, people who profess to be Christ followers, he said, this is how you should live. And I'm just going to hit the highlights. One of the first things he points out is he said, stop arguing. There was a couple of women who were having disagreement in the church in Philippi and they were arguing. It was creating tension for everybody else around them. And Paul just simply says, hey, ladies, stop arguing. And then he appeals to other people in the church. He said, help me with this. Don't get involved in these silly arguments. It does nothing to promote the cause of Christ and it only weakens our witness. So stop arguing among yourselves. That's, that's one thing that Christians should do. Stop arguing among yourselves. Then he goes on. He said, always be happy. Find something that you can be happy about. Find the good in something that's going on around you. Be happy. Rejoice. The, the old translation said rejoice. And again, I say rejoice. Then he said, be kind and be patient so that everyone can see that the Lord is near. Don't worry about anything, but pray about everything. Take it to God instead of posting it. I'm not sure Paul said this, but I'm saying this. Instead of posting it on Facebook, instead of posting it on your social media, instead of blasting it out for everybody to see, go to God with everything. Give your heart to God. Give your issues to God and allow him to work. And then he goes on and he said, if you'll do a few of these things that I've prescribed here, how Christians should live, stop arguing, stop worrying, be happy, be content, be kind. Be patient. He, he lists all these things. He said, if you do all these things, he said, you're going to experience a peace that is unexplainable, a peace that passes your ability to understand. And you won't worry and you won't be afraid because you belong to Jesus Christ. Listen, we live in a world where so many of you are worried, you're afraid, you're concerned about everything that's going on. You're upset about everything that's going on. Stop it. Stop being upset about every single thing that's happening in the world. Look to Jesus because in him you find peace. 
Go out today. Stop arguing among yourselves. Quit it. Stop arguing among yourselves. Find some peace. Find some contentment. Be kind. Be patient. Don't worry. Pray. And then watch peace invade your life. I hope that you'll experience that today. I know it helps me a great deal. And I want it to help you today. I love you. The Lord bless you. Looking forward to a great week with you this week. We'll see you tomorrow. God bless you.